Today we're going to learn about column division. Oftentimes you'll hear this referred to as long division. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And then so what we're going to do is we're going to introduce you to a family where we have a dad, we have a mom, we have a sister, we have a brother, and we have a cat. And this is the division family. And then again, we so we have a dad, a mom, a sister, a brother, and a cat. And then so these stand for those different steps in that division process, where the dad, this is, stands for divide. The mom stands for multiply. The sister stands for subtract. Brother, if we think about the brother, that's bringing down, and the cat goes meow, and the cat is the check. And then so, if we look at this problem, we couldn't divide 3 into 4 parts, but we could divide 36 into 4 parts. We could divide those 36 tens into those 4 parts. So the dad says, hey, go ahead and do that. 36 divided by 4. And 36 divided by 4 is 9. And this is where we're going to go ahead and put our answer to that division problem. And this is where our answer is in our division problem. So we have, the other thing to remember is that we put the 9 directly above that 6 because we were dividing 36 tens, and this is going to be the tens part of our answer. The mom says, hey, 9 times 4, 9 times 4 is 36. Sister turns around, we subtract 36 minus 36 is 0. Brother says to bring down, so we bring down that 5. 5 divided by 4, that's what we do, is after we bring down, we go back to that dividing again. So we take 5 and divide it into that 4 parts is 1, and Mom says 1 times 4 is 4, and 5 minus 4 is 1. At that point, we still have to write our remainder. And that can be part of the cat's job, too. The cat is always going to do this. Take our answer, 91, and we're going to go ahead and use the inverse operation of division, which is multiplication. We'll multiply by that divisor there. And then we'll remember to add back in our remainder to see whether or not we get that same number as our dividend. And it does check. Let's look at another problem. Here's another problem. 478 divided by 4. I've shown you some of those steps already, but I haven't done all of them yet. So as you see, I've just brought down the 8. And then so the next process again, after you, whenever you bring down a number, you always go back to that division step again. Dad always says, hey, go back to that division step again. The other reason that you know that things aren't done yet is that you still have a spot here where there's no number. There's no number here. And then so you're all, oh, this doesn't look complete yet. 478 divided by 4 can't be 11 tens in this case. Hmm. There's still another step to do, and there's still some more steps to do. And then so we have 38 divided by 4. 4 is what we're dividing by. 4 is our divisor. 38 divided by 4 is 9. 9 is the closest multiplication fact that we can think of as well. Because 9 times 4 is 36. Then we subtract in that process. So 38 minus 36 is 2. Are there any more numbers to bring down, says brother? No. Cat says, okay, put the remainder up here. Remainder is 2. So our answer is 470. Our answer to 478 divided by 4 is 119 with the remainder of 2. And then the cat says to check your answer. So you write your answer there, 119. We multiply by the divisor, 119 times 4. We do that work right there. And then we remember to add back in that remainder. And then so we have checked our work. We used our division family to help us 
with this division, column division, or long division. All right, take a moment to write down this here for yourself. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and check. Go ahead and write this problem down on your paper. And then I'm going to walk you step by step. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with this hundreds place here, where we take five hundreds divided into five parts, and that's why we get one here. One times five, that's multiplication, is five, and five minus five is zero. Do that step. After we subtracted there, we're going to go ahead and bring down a number. What are we going to bring down? Right, the 9. And then we're going to go back to that step where we divide again. We're bringing down one number at a time. I want you to finish up your problem. Hit pause, finish up your problem, and I'll come right back to you. Did you get to this step here? Did you remember to bring down the 7 all the way next to the 4? Do you remember what to do next? Can we leave our problem like this? Hope you finished your work. Where you had 47 minus 45 equaling 2. And 2 is our remainder. Did you check your problem? Let's see who's faster. If you did it already, then you're faster for sure. Or if you slow down the video, you, I guess you could also win. There we go. That's your division, column division or long division. I'm going to give you a full U try. Two more examples. Here you go. Go ahead and copy these down. And hit pause. Here we go, we'll start with this first problem. 867 divided by 6, got 1 right there, 1 times 6 being 6, 8 minus 6 being 2, and bring down the 6. 26 divided by 6, see that's 4, because 4 times 6 is 24. 26 minus 24 is 2. Look at your problem so far to make sure that you have done those steps correctly. At that point, we bring down the 7, and we go back to that division step where we have 27 divided by 6, which is 4 again, because 4 times 6 is 24, and 27 minus 24 is 3. Did you remember to write the remainder there? Did you remember to check your work? Cat would be upset if you didn't check your work. Going to change up colors here for our other problem. 5 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. And we bring down the 1. Bring down one digit at a time. 11 divided by 4 is 2, because 2 times 4 is 8. 11 minus 8 is 3. Bring down the 2. 32 divided by 4 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32 and 32 minus 32 is 0. Do we write remainder 0 here? Nope. So read the whole problem. 512 divided by 4 is 128. And that's long division, or column division. Test time! Our division family stands for what? D stands for right dad. M stands for mom. S stands for sister. B stands for brother. And C stands for cat. And so these are steps within the division process. Continuing with that test, our operations then, first we divide, and then we multiply, and then we Right, subtract, and then we 
bring down. I guess that's not an operation, but that is a step. And then the cat says, check. How many numbers do you bring down at once? You only bring down one at a time. What's the step that comes after dividing? Right, you multiply. When does the cat get to do its work? Well, pretty much all along the way, I suppose. But the cat really does all, a lot of that work by putting up that remainder when there's nothing else to bring down. If I had this problem right here, 328 divided by 5 equaling 65 remainder 3, what would the cat do to check this problem? What would the cat do to check this problem? Right, the cat would take 65 and multiply it by what? would multiply it by what? Right, 5. And then they would make sure to do that correctly. And what would we do with that remainder? Up, right, add it in. Hope you passed the test.